Hey, what is up, guys? This is Kyoto Express, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're back with another Clash of Clans War to Glory episode. And uh, if you guys can see, we've been having a very uh, good run of wars recently. We lost a couple of wars in between, but uh, apart from that, we've had a very good uh, war win uh, streak. And uh, today, we're gonna check out some of the best Town Hall 8 go wipe strategies. And uh, one of the best uh, Gola Loon, uh, no, not Gola Loon, Lava Loon attack. Uh, by the basher so we're gonna get into a replay of our war against Evako Sulawesi and uh, let's see how that goes so guys in today's clan war video Mega Pekka faced against Evako Sulawesi which was a level 7 clan and uh, we did manage to pull out a victory with 40 to 37 and uh, it was a pretty close war actually if you look at the war events we had to attack right at the end with one minute left we had five attacks uh, when there was one minute left and uh, a lot of our players had to go lower and uh, get those 3 stars but uh, we managed to get a victory against a level 7 clan which was pretty cool so they did manage to pull out a 3 star on all of our lower bases as well and uh, we managed to uh, 3 star all of their lower bases and uh, 2 star all of their base, uh, uh, top bases except this guy so we're gonna, I'm gonna get into a replay of the basher against James007 which was a brilliant lava lunian attack and uh, let's see how he did it. So guys, for the first attack today, we have the Basher moving in on James007 from Ivako Sulawesi and uh, he's got a very good Lava Loon attack. Uh, he's got two level two Lava Hounds and uh, one maxed out Hound in the clan castle. And uh, he's got 26 balloons along with a lot of other troops uh, which consists of goblins and wall breakers and minions and wizards as well. So he drops in his Barbarian King on the Archer Queen side to take the Archer Queen out and uh, he activates uh, his ability to ta basically take out the Archer Queen and uh, he drops in a Hog Rider from the top to, uh, top to lure the Clan Castle troops and uh, after the update it, uh, the attack just lasts for 3 minutes and uh, poison spells don't work so poison spells are basically useless and uh, you need to lure the Clan Castle troops right to the corner and uh, take them out before you in initiate the attack so that's what uh, the Bachelor did he took the clan castle dragon and the balloons right to the top and uh, used the queen to take them out and now uh, with no heroes left he's uh, ready to initiate his uh, lava loon attack so he drops in a zap quake on that uh, air defense and uh, he's dropped in both his lava hounds along with a third lava hound which is in his clan castle but uh, he drops in a few balloons he starts off slow and uh, he drops in a few balloons with a rage spell from the bottom and uh, one of his Lava Hound explodes but uh, he drops in the maxed out Lava Hound along with a couple balloons again and uh, he's dropping the balloons very slowly if you see. he's uh, If you look at this attack it's not exactly a Lava Loonian it's a surgical Balloonian attack and uh, that that actually gets you the 3 star every single time if you do it properly. So he's still got a Lava Hound which explodes right now and uh, he's got a lot of balloons still left to deploy and uh, he's got a, la a lot of lava pups left for cleanup as well so he's just got one air defense to go through and uh, he still has a haste spell which he drops right now to take care of that final air defense after which there's just not many defenses remaining to target his balloons so his balloons can work work on cleanup once all the defenses are down and uh, if you look at all the troops he got there's a lot of storages and uh, stuff outside the base so he got a lot of goblins to just quickly mow through all the storages and stuff and uh, he he saves a few balloons uh, to take care of all these structures at the end and uh, this one balloon here who's a real trooper he's just going to take out a lot of defenses and that wizard tower as well so he's still got four balloons left for cleanup and a lot of other troops along with a lot of goblins and uh, lava pups and minions as well and uh, he used the wizards to take out the clan castle but he still got a lot of troops left for cleanup and uh, that was a great attack by the basher he managed to pull out a three star every single time and uh, that was a great attack by him okay starting with the town hall 8 go wipe attacks uh, we have hercules who's our clan leader moving in on banna i think he wanted to name his uh, account banana but uh, he misspelled that and uh, We've got uh, Hercules moving in with a pretty strong go wipe composition and uh, if you look at this base it's a very open style base design. So go wipe is pretty much the best uh, strategy you can use for uh, such designs because uh, go ho just would not work. So he lures the clan castle out to the corner and uh, he drops in both his uh, golems and uh, a row of wizards behind them to take care of the clan castle and uh, 
the surrounding structures as well. So he drops in both his peckers, uh, all three of his peckers, and uh, his barbarian king, and uses the rage spell to get to the center of the base. And uh, right after all these defenses are down, the troops they they're just gonna head to the center and just mow shit up. So. He's got almost all of his troops going to the center. He drops in a heal spell uh, on all the troops to take care of their uh, health. And uh, he's got all three of his Pekkas locked onto the town hall right now, who are going to just take uh, take the town hall out pretty quickly. And uh, he drops in his third raid spell right now, which is pretty well placed. He could have uh, placed it a little lower to just basically ensure that all his troops use the raid spell. But uh, his troops are still in the raid spell and uh, they, they're doing pretty well. He's got a lot of wizards down at the bottom here as well. And... Uh, He's got a lot of troops along with two full-sized golems and uh, they're just gonna distract defenses relentlessly and uh, although one of his pack, I think yeah, one of his pack is, pack is down but he's still got a lot of wizards and uh, a lot of uh, other troops with those barbarians and his barbarian king at full health as well and uh, these golemites down here might take out the tesla I think uh, yeah, he's, they've got a wizard to help them but uh, they take out that tesla and uh, he's still got two peckers and a lot of troops up top but uh, most of this base at the bottom is down and uh, all that is left is the, the two archer towers uh, on the right side of the base and once they are down there's just uh, clean up left so his troops are gonna go around the base and uh, the wizards uh, behind uh, his peckers are gonna target the archer tower and uh, take that archer tower down uh, now his barbarian king and all the peckers they target this wall which is a pretty smart move from them and uh, once the gold storage is down, they're going to take down the last defense in this uh, base. And uh, once the uh, once that ba uh, defense is down, they can basically just take out the rest of these three structures and uh, get the three star for Hercules. Which and uh, that was a great attack by Hercules. Shout out to him. So oh, guys, for the third and final attack today, we have Hunter, who's a new recruit moving in on Enhal from Evaco Sulawesi. And uh, he found a gap in that base, which uh, he exploited to basically take out a giant, take out the giant bomb, uh, trigger a Tesla, and uh, take out the, I mean, lure the clan castle at the same time. So this this is not a very open base designed to use go wipe on, but uh, this this is still a great attack from Hunter. So he drops in both his golems, takes out the clan castle troops with a, a huge row of wizards, and uh, he's dropped in one of his heal spells. Uh, he's got three heal spells, which is uh, a little high on the healing side. But uh, he still does pretty well. He gets his wall breakers right to the center, I think. No, he doesn't. But uh, his golems are moving to the center, and uh, they've, he's, the golems have got a lot of wizards behind them to just basically uh, take out structure after structure. And uh, he drops in one more heal spell on the wizards, and he's got a huge row of wizards coming in from behind as well. But uh, most of his uh, attacking uh, power has gone to the right, and uh, he he's got a lot of wizards uh, in the center. Which uh, basically with the golem uh, in front of them can wreck shit up just very very quickly. So he's got another heal spell left which he drops down right now and uh, he's got a P.E.K.K.A in the heal spell as well now. He's got his Barbarian King with uh, his ability activated and uh, he's still got one more P.E.K.K.A out on the right. So he's got a lot of wizards to uh, take care of structures after structure and uh, his Barbarian King is out there at the top with a maxed out golem just tanking for defenses. So. His wizards are going to do pretty well and uh, they're going to take out a lot of structures but uh, they're not that tanky so they're going to go down pretty quickly and uh, he's going to have to rely on his barbarian king, uh, his P.E.K.K.A and uh, a couple wizards to take out the final archer tower and uh, all the defenses. So there was nothing much left in this base after uh, all of that, that was down and uh, that was a great attack by Hunter as well. So guys that was today's clan war episode I hope you guys really enjoyed if you did please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and uh, it would be really helpful for me but that is going to be it uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed peace